ensure that our state does not lag behind, but rather stand tall with the rest of the country. We must be torchbearers who illuminate the path toward a better future. Equipped with the knowledge of cutting-edge technologies and deep commitment to our people. Our vision must be clear to develop infrastructure that is not only strong and sustainable, but also inclusive and accessible. We must be proactive in solving the problem of today while also preparing for the challenges of tomorrow. In conclusion, let us reaffirm our commitment to excellence in our profession, to innovation in our approach, and to integrity in our actions. Let us be the change maker who envision a better Nagaland and work passionately to make the vision a reality. I am confident that together we can rise above the challenges and lead our state into a new era of growth and development. Let us harness the power of technology the strength of our unity and the spirit of our dedication to propel Nagaland forward. Thank you. I look forward to an engaging and productive conference ahead. God bless Francisco. The additional works consist of a four bay, a penstock of 36 meter drop, and a power station of 10 kilowatt capacity to provide 24 into 7 power supply to the farmhouses in the common areas. The water from the tail race is then conveyed to the fields for irrigation. The project is still functional today and is an example of how water from the irrigation channel can also be utilized for power generation, especially in the hilly region thus generating maximum efficiency of water. Eastern Nagaland may fall to the part of Arunachal Pradesh, where the Nefar area, Tirap Changlang Rogding, these three districts are still like us. God knows what the future holds for them. This Teneme union was so they go. The affinities are very close with South Tatas and Manipur another four or five tribes. What will become of them? They are closer to Myanmar. It's restive now. I'm afraid, but Myanmar is a failed state. They will not work. Under any kind of leadership. I fear it may disintegrate into two or more political entities. What if they invite and we choose to join that side? Manipur breaks up the two states or more. Then where will the central Nagas go? The most enlightened, the most advanced. Their borders are very close here on the side, which is so good, so excessive. If the south, if the north, east go away, then what will the central do on its own? They may also choose something. There, Nagaland will be a part of history. Oh, once upon a time, there was a state like that, people like that, so called. Austerity will look at us and see us in the pages of history. That's all. But if we feel that under all circumstances, 
we have to surmount all these challenges. And we have to be together. That's the way we want to survive. Then I think we have to change our attitudes, especially with the political aspect, and try to reach a broad consensus and tackle this unresolved problem very soon. And here is where we want our officers, like how officers, your predecessors, have done in the 50s and 60s. There were the people who planned it out. There were very few of them. Our people were not enlightened. They couldn't understand what a constitution was, what a democracy was, and how tomorrow will be. They had not seen the world, never heard. So these few officers guide us. And that is where we are today, how we are here today. We want you to play that spearheading role again. Don't step back and say, oh, we are just step this. We don't know anything about politics. And leave the matter to us. No. We want every hand to extend and give us a hope. Give us your best thoughts. We feel if you just look away from your documents, from your technicalities sometimes, and try to politicize it, socialize it, who knows? And Sam may come from any one of you. For the best solutions of our people. We'll not lose hope. I've spoken in a very negative, pessimistic aspect, but don't let it discourage you. I was just trying to look at things from the other direction, which we cannot do without talking. So for fear of being complacent, I have just tried to ignite your mind and throw a challenge to you to ponder in the quiet times, in your free times, for our people and not only your schemes and your projects. We thank you so much for whatever you're doing and we look forward to working with you and in cloth. And I thank you for this wonderful opportunity today. God bless you.